welcome to my Lodge Lake campaign. Lodge Lake, it's a 10 acre lake, it's two rods only, it's not a runs water but it does actually have a good head of carp reaching up to 25 pound at the right time of year. Now if you want to do nights on Lodge you actually do have to join a night syndicate but I'll talk a little bit more about that as the blog goes on. Now I actually I set aside three months to try and catch a 20 pound carp from Lodge and to be totally honest with you I actually failed. I had a lot of fun, I did catch quite a few carp and I had a lot of ups and downs but yeah I didn't actually manage to do it but what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to talk you through my first two sessions and then I'm going to catch up myself on the third session and this blog, it was meant to be the Lodge Lake campaign but it's more just going to be how I got on at Lodge and for the first session of the campaign I set up in this one right here now Lodge Lake is actually fishing from Mark's pegs only but there's so many pegs going right away around the lake that's really not a problem but for the first session of the year, first session of the campaign I actually set up in this swim and here's a photo and for the second session of the campaign because of I almost fell over when running out at speed down this little slope because it was raining I actually decided to move just over a peg, just over here, and I was actually lucky enough to land two carp on my uh, second session. So here's the photos of them. And for my third session, I actually set up in the swim again. It was the most productive session of the whole campaign, so I'll just catch up with myself then. for another 14 hour session. I'm almost set up, not quite, I haven't got my rods in the water yet, but I'm feeling very, very positive about this session. Yesterday, I came down the lake and I put about a kilo, maybe a kilo and a half, all about here, little line here, and a little bit like that. It's almost like a big L. And the reason behind that is, I've landed three carp from this lake so far on this campaign and all of the bites have roughly came off of the same spot. So the tactics for today is to put both of them on the spot where they've, uh, all the bites have roughly been coming from. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a little bit of bait in, only about half a kilo, obviously I put some in yesterday. I'll give you another update soon, yeah let's get the rods in the water and uh, try and land a carp.
rods are in the water and to tell you the truth I'm very very happy where they landed my first rod I actually got it perfect first time my second rod it did take me three casts but it doesn't matter because I'm very happy with them and it's very important that you are happy where your rod lands the phrase is it will do won't do and if you're gonna sit on your rod for 10 12 hours then you have to be happy with it I've put about half a kilo of bait in, but where I've done the tight bait in yesterday, when I come down to pre-bait, I've actually spread this bait around. I'm always optimistic. And with that being said, I'm actually gonna brought a DVD player today and I'm gonna sit down and watch some Matt Hayes, get a couple of tips myself. So. I've had a lot of fun watching Matt Hayes, but what I'm going to quickly do now is just uh, talk you through my rigs and systems. Anybody who's watched my blog knows what my uh, favourite system is. It's the DCL system by Concept Leads, and to tell you the truth, it's done me brilliant in this campaign so far. It does me brilliant absolutely everywhere. Now, I'm not just saying jump on this lead system. What I'm actually trying to say is if when you're moving to do a new campaign, make sure you've got a system that you're 100% confident with. And to be totally honest with you, I've got 100% confidence in this system. What it is, it is a uh, meter of lead core <laughs> with a safety clip. And then, bit of a flash. The whole idea behind uh, the system is, and when the carp actually sucks in your bait, instead of picking up the loose bit here, wow, well, stand back, stand back. Instead of picking up the loose bit right here, it's right in the centre. So all you're actually aiming to do is just to get the carp to suck the bait into its mouth one time, the full resistance of the lead, and you'll nail it. And like any safety system. It will release from there, and if you get into any tangles, it will release from here as well. I'm going to apologise about the camera flashing, and that is actually the rigs and systems that I've been using in this campaign. then first one of the session went in at 12 pound lovely little common let's hope there's more to come there you go mate what's going on mr swan don't worry carp rules turned safely no harm done <laughs> Seems like uh, this pre-baiting has paid off. Oh my god. She was in and out of the net. <laughs> yes! Number two. And the camera is soaked. Great! <laughs> Right, so here we go then. This session really is off to a flying start. This is actually the second one of the session and it's starting to look like the pre-baiting has uh, paid off. Well, she's lively. It is only a small little common. I'm starting to think next session I might need to swap over to the big fish rig Ooh, to try and pick off something a bit bigger. But every carp's welcome. Every carp's one step closer. So yeah, bam. Hit by a storm. The wind has picked 
dog and wow. It's all a bit like But we don't really care about a storm. All we really care about is we've landed two carp already and I'm going to jump in my bed and pull the sleeping bag right over my head again. So hopefully I do land another one and I'll catch up with you in the morning. Seven, and the tripod's been knocked over, the cradle's been knocked over, but most importantly, I've only got one rod in the water, so that means I landed another carp. Here's only another small common, so uh, I guess the plan for next time is to rethink the tactics because I keep on picking off the small ones. Last night actually was my most productive session landing three carp, three commons, so I guess. There wasn't much common about last night's commons. Uh, that was a bit <laughs> shit, <right? laughs> But I'm just gonna quickly show you the carp and uh, thinking about packing away. So here we go then. This is actually carp number three of the session. It's another little common, but I'm proper happy with this one actually, because it's a nice dark golden common. It was a pretty nice bonus fish to uh, pick up along the way. There you go. And that was a swan. Oh my god, my heart was racing. <laughs> Whoa, almost falling. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, it was a nice bonus fish to pick up along the way. And the pre baiting seemed to have paid off. So I'm going to repeat that again next Tuesday. Come down here, put about a kilo of bait out in preparation for my Wednesday session. But till then. Happy days. <laughs> right, so I'm back down the lake, and what I probably should have mentioned right at the start of this blog is that Lodge Lake is open for everyone to fish. It costs £7 for a day ticket. Of course, unless you are an MK member, then uh, it's free of charge. <laughs> <laughs> He's putting me off. Uh, if you want to do nights, then you actually have to join a night syndicate. It is free of charge, but what that requires of you is to actually bay lift the lake once a month. And yeah, that's it. So nice and simple. But there are positives with bay lifting the lake once a month. It means you get a good opportunity to walk around the lake. You meet other anglers, opportunity to look for carp. So uh, today's my bay lifting round, so that's what I'm actually going to do, walk around, see what I can find. So yeah, I'm going to update you soon. Let's do it. Let's go. You ready, Hav? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Alright, so I've just done a redway stretch and no one's fishing there, so yeah, let's just move on. Move on to the paddocks. Right, that is my round done. The lake is empty. Now I'm going home. Safe. Here I go 
again for another 14 hour session and it's starting to look a little bit like spring I know we're a little bit far off it because it is only the 7th of Feb but the sun's been out and I hope the carp have started to move about a bit more for this session what I'm, I'm not going back to my normal spot where I've been fishing on the redway I'm actually moving around to the paddocks and that is purely because it's just getting too much for me over there there's people walking backwards and forward across the redway all day and all night and that is typical of main redways in Milton Keynes you know when you're fishing the park lake so the paddocks is a little bit more tucked away so yeah let's just go and explore around there So I'm round at the paddocks and to tell you the truth I for some weird reason thought that I was going to be able to pretty much cast my spot without thinking about this so with not being able to fish where I actually really wanted to I'm sticking with peg 15 and I guess I'm just going to flick them in the middle, not too far out, not right in the corner over there. So let's just get set up and uh, see if we can't land one. I was going to cast from there, but I've come up with a bit of a new plan. If I can stand a bit back there, in all these rushes then what I can probably do is get my rod a little bit further that way and that's the way I sort of want to be aiming so uh, new plan very happy with my rods and now let's just talk about bait just before I put some in so what I've actually done I've upped the size to size 18 I'm actually gonna be using mainline hybrid that is my all-time favorite bait I'm not even gonna lie and I'm only gonna introduce about 20 baits over each of my rods now this week I didn't actually come down and pre bait so I'm sort of hoping the, uh, the fish might be proper hungry tonight. You know, fingers crossed anyway, it's always good to be optimistic. Let's get the bait in the water. No way! So... Okay, the maddest thing has happened. So my rod has finally gone off. I'm not sure exactly what time it is, but the lake is frozen over. The lake has frozen over. What the hell, man? I don't know what the hell to do. I guess next time, check the weather. <laughs> I 
ice fishing with Richard Pennell. <laughs> with the camera on the light is so bright, you can't see a damn thing. All right, well that didn't go to plan. Obviously it came off. And obviously I will not be putting this rod back out tonight. Screw in. <laughs> Oh my god, what a bloody wally. But, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Wow, wow, wow. Phone in the pocket, that is very important. Last thing I want to do is be dropping my phone in the pocket. Oh my god, I don't know how the fuck we've done it, but we've done it. Oh my god. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, there is so much joy in that. Especially after losing that first one in the ice. Moving to the new swim. Yes! Fucking hell! I'm gonna have to apologise about my language. But. But. I'm not really that sorry. We have actually got one in the net. Yes! <coughs> so, what could I say? We lost the light real quick around this side of the lake. So I didn't do too much recording. We lost the first carp due to the lake icing over. I did smash the ice a little bit. Uh, in preparation to try and catch in this one, but obviously it froze again. I smash the ice and I've bloody got one in the net. <laughs> all right, so here we go then. After all the hassle off of the losing the first fish and having to break the ice to land the second one, I'm really, really happy to land this one. She's only a baby, about nine, ten pound. My hands are stinging, it's so cold, but there you go, I couldn't be happier with this one. So happy. But where I've only got a couple of hours left, I'm not going to put my rods out, obviously it is iced over there. But as soon as it does get light, we're actually going to take a little walk down there. And we've got about probably an hour after it gets light before we go home. Just see if we can't want to another one out. I know it does seem a bit like Mission Impossible right now. But we're going to give it a go. So, happy days.
watched it an hour, it is a lot lighter now and you can see clear as day that the lake is frozen. But just over there, a couple of swings down, there's almost a big semicircle where it's not frozen. So I guess it's going to be time for me just to, to go flick my rods in, come back, pack away and then just go move over there for an hour or two. So yeah, that's the plan. Fingers crossed. So that's it, session's come to an end. I didn't catch anything when I moved to this swim, but I still had a lot of fun last night and I'm really looking forward to my next session next week. So I will catch up with you then. another 14 hour session and the weatherman's talking about minus six tonight and a bit of snow it has snowed a little bit today not too much and to tell the truth uh, the other half of the lake is actually frozen but with only two weeks left of the season and lodge lake having the traditional closed season if i really am going to compete this campaign then i better just get stuck in no matter what the weather is it's actually starting to snow right now so uh before this side lake does start freezing over i better get my rods in and get set up and the tactics for today is i'm fishing singles to where i have been the whole campaign but i'm going to back lead my line really close in so if the lake does freeze over this side i'll be able to break the ice again that was a bit of a learning curve from last session and i should be able to play the fishing so uh i'm not too sure how this session is going to pan out but let's just get the rods in the water get set up and hope for the best because I'm not fishing too far out that I could just grab a handful, chuck it in and a few might make it through but it just seems like it's dinner time for them so I guess I'm going to leave it till it gets a little bit dark and yeah, let's just get the rods in the water So the temperatures have actually started dropping. So what I've actually done, dug out a hat, I've got my gloves on, and in all honesty, I am just gonna uh, jump in a bivy and uh, probably jump in my sleeping bag, try and keep warm. I have actually noticed though that tonight, 
is actually a full moon, night of the big common. So I really have got my fingers crossed for tonight. I will uh, give you some updates as and if anything happens. So yeah, let's just uh, keep our fingers crossed. about half past six in the morning I've literally got about two hours left of the session and to be totally honest with you this session starting to look like a blank uh, the weatherman was talking about minus sixes last night and um, a snowstorm so I did actually call him out on it last night I didn't actually feel if it was minus six or not and I didn't see a snowstorm I know the temperatures did drop because of uh, this is my bottle of water <laughs> Frozen <laughs> and this is my bottle of coke. Frozen. <laughs> and to be totally honest with you, with fishing season ending in probably just under two weeks, about two weeks, I don't know how many more sessions I'm gonna be able to fit in. I might be able to fit a couple of couple of hour sessions in. I'm definitely hoping I can get at least another overnighter in, if not two. But I don't know. You know, let's just sit back, cross our fingers and hope for a bite. Uh, to tell the truth, it is actually breakfast time now. And when you are out in the bank on quick overnighters, there's no time for fry ups or anything. You know, just got to stick to the good old Frosty's bar. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. So I'm going to sit back, enjoy my breakfast, and just pray, you know, for anything. So yeah, I'll give you another update soon, and let's all just say a prayer together. Please, carp gods, let something happen. Amen. opportunity for snow carpers came and gone and it didn't happen last night uh, for my next session I'm not gonna uh, hope for snow in all honesty I'm gonna hope for Sun and hope that the carp start moving around and start feeding uh, in preparation for my next session I'm gonna come down and pre bait but till then I'm gonna leave you with a couple of photos I've taken of the lake this morning <laughs> saying what a difference a week makes it's actually starting to look a bit like spring the sun is out I'm a little bit hot after pushing that barra and it's really looking good for a bite now I'm gonna level with you I actually I came down yesterday for a two-hour session and what I actually did do I didn't catch anything but I put a kilo of bait out you know, in preparation for this session because I'm very sad to say that this is actually gonna be my last session in this campaign with Lodge Lake having a traditional closed season and it literally closing in a few days, I'm not gonna have another opportunity to come down here. And with Milton Keynes having so many good lakes to explore uh, that don't have the closed season and actually having to join the night syndicate, it's just one of them. I would definitely back, I've really enjoyed my time here, 
but we've still got another session. Fingers crossed we're really gonna do it tonight and no time to waste, let's get set up. can't see any seagulls so I'm going to try and sneak some bait in I know as soon as I put a little bit of bait in they're all going to turn up but I'm not going to put too much bait in because I did come down and pre-bait yesterday and I don't want there to be too much bait out there because I'm trying to have a good hit of carp that's the plan anyway so yeah I'm going to try and sneak some bait in I'm in happy days so uh, yeah I guess now it's completely out of my hands I've done everything I can do one fingers crossed two fingers crossed and let's just hope for the best just about to do a little bit of filming of the ducks because I thought it looked really cool with my rods and the ducks. I started recording, heard a beep, I thought it was the ducks. Oh my god it ripped off and I've got the first one of the session. Looks like uh, the pre-baiting paid off and um, we're off to a flying start. Yeah! Alright so here we go then. First one of the session went in at 15 pound. And after that blank the other day in the snow, I couldn't be more happy with this one. Proper English car. There you go, mate. I know, it's nice and cold. See you later. Goals attacking it. Proper buzzing.
just a quick update, the time's about half six in the morning and there was no action whatsoever last night. After landing that one early on, in all honesty, I did think I was going to pick off another one, maybe even another two, but I suppose that's why they call it fishing and not catching. This, in all honesty, might be my last session on Lodge for a very long time. With Lodge Lake having this additional close season and we're getting so very close. I'm not going to get deflated right yet because we still do have about two hours of the session left and I have actually just recast both my rods. I put about another six boilies over each of them and in all honesty, even though the camera's getting away from me, like there was nothing wrong with my rigs when I brought them in. There was not tangled, they didn't have any sticks or anything hooked to them. So, I don't really have any answers for you right now. But I'm going to keep my fingers crossed, I'm going to watch the lake and just enjoy the view. That was right over the top of the bivvy. <laughs> right over the top, I think he wanted to say bye as well. So yeah, see you later Mr Goose and hopefully I'll um, give you another update soon. So I just heard a noise outside the bivvy. And uh, yesterday, my mate actually come down to see me for an hour, and he said he might come down at seven o'clock in the morning. I didn't really believe him, but he's here. Well, he's not actually there, there's his stuff. So yeah, let's go over and talk to him, say hi. So with an uh, angler setting up right close to me, it'll be pretty rude for me not to ask what his uh, system he's using. So yeah, if you don't mind showing me your system, that'd be real cool, mate. Basically, we've got a two and a half ounce distance lead, safety clip, and just a standard hair rig, size eight, single bait, and plastic sweet corn, and a stringer or two. We're going to fish it tight to the snags, and the other one tight to the reeds. Can I get a happy days? Happy days. <laughs> Bad camera work, good cast. Alright, so this session really has come to an end. And even though I didn't manage to land a 20 pound dart, I'm still really impressed with that carp I caught yesterday. But like I said, this session is coming to an end. And to be totally honest with you, the whole campaign's coming to an end. I'm going to leave you with a couple of photos from the complete, the whole of the campaign and uh, yeah, if you like the video give it a like and don't forget to hit subscribe to join my group on Facebook, Carp Angling with Richard Pennell and I'm going to end it right there with a happy days. No worries. And if you catch any send me the photos over. No problem. camera's not working properly so I thought I'd get a video of it. I haven't weighed it yet but uh, this is my third spot and uh, yeah this is the result. Um, I'll stick it in the sling see what it weighs and we'll pop it back. So there we go, bang on, 17 pound, it was worth the move indeed. Nice.